The time has come and we have officially made it to our 30th country. It is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Incredible. How is it? Freaking fantastic. We have just touched down in Croatia. For the next few days, we are going to be doing all of the things and checking out what this town has to offer. We're here in the peak of summer and we have swimming on the agenda, sightseeing. Boat rides. Boat rides. Amazing food. We just landed not too long ago and just got to our awesome Airbnb here in the heart of the town. So we're gonna go get changed and then head out for some dinner. That's what we made. Cheers to 30 countries. Yeah. 30 countries. 30 countries. Mm. Holy oh. Toledo. That tastes good. Try that. What's your country count? I think it's uh, possibly 12. Yeah, so That's the Amsterdam. only other ones I have over him are India and the Philippines. So 13. What'd you get there? This is our first meal in Croatia and our taxi driver told us to get black risotto. We asked him what's one thing that we should try in Croatia and he said black risotto. So this is the first thing that we're getting. Good? Yeah. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> really good. I haven't tried mine yet, but... Uh, What'd you get there? Carbonato and caramel. I got what they called the traditional Croatian stuffed pepper. So we'll see how it is. Now that we're full from black risotto and hot peppers. We're going on the city walls, which is arguably the most popular thing to do, and probably the best thing to do to get a full tour of the city from a high view. Heart rate's up. Heart rate's up. Heart rate's up. Heart rate's up. So this walk is two kilometers long. And absolutely stunning for two whole kilometers. You get water views, old city views, and just pretty much everything in between. We were told to come early in the morning or for sunset because that's when the cruise ships leave and that's when the crowds are at the lowest volume. Yeah, but it's pretty crowded right now, so I don't think we followed the directions perfectly. So right below us, there's a cliff bar called Booza Bar, and you can cliff jump right off of it. And hopefully, we'll be cliff jumping into the Adriatic Sea. Is that right? Yeah, when are we yes. gonna do that? Hopefully you guys will. <laughs> You're not gonna do it? Uh, we'll see. you gonna do it? Oh yeah, I am. Cause every single curve you drive me around my speed gift from it is so crazy how thick these fortress walls are, or the city walls, I guess they call it. It's just, this is just the narrowest point, like below, look at this. It's like 10, that 12 feet huge. wide. Like there's no way you're getting through that with old cannons and stuff. This is really magnificent. It makes you like, Beautiful. brings you back into history. Baby, we got that moon Baby, we got that sunlight. Baby, we got that moonshine. Baby, we got that sunlight. Baby, we got that moonshine. Baby, we got that sunlight. What scene was that, Mom? We are coming up to the end of the Cliff Wall Walk. What do we totally think? Totally worth it. It was phenomenal. The views are absolutely breathtaking, especially 
at sunset and I'd recommend it. Yeah, it's really starting to thin out now that it's past seven yeah. o'clock. It's really nice now. And the lighting is just perfect. It's a little cooler. Man, it's nice. Watch your step though, cause you might trip and break you an ankle. You could have got some quality content. Good thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that would have been. I spent the dust for working on thumbnails for you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Things I do for N O M. T N. Welcome to Strandon Street, shopping mecca of Dubrovnik. Absolute and, chaos. And the oldest street here, I believe. We're getting gelato. It wouldn't be a trip to uh, Europe if we didn't need gelato just about every to every other day. Yeah, I am. Hey. Did someone say gelato? How is it? Freaking fantastic. Uh, and I got a free cookie. Check me out. That stairwell behind us was where Cersei and Game of Thrones did the shame, the walk of shame. 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 It's pretty wild that you're like in the movie set. You can be right there. Before we got to Croatia, we were asking ourselves what are the top five European cities that we would come back and visit. I think Croatia, Dubrovnik, it's only been the first 12 hours and I think it's going to be high on everyone's list. Okay everyone, I did a little correction on how many uh, countries I've been to. It's been an issue that I don't really travel too far. So well, let's recap them. We have United States, Canada, I have to use my finger so that's why they're over here. Okay, he'll look over there. Then we did our European trip, which was France, Belgium, Copenhagen, Amsterdam. So we're up to six. Bermuda, Bahamas, uh, Bahamas. Bahamas, Dominican Republic, Italy, yeah. and the Vatican. Yeah. And then we went to Ireland, and I'm in Croatia. So that's 13, I believe, right? 13? I think that's 13, yeah. So, uh, and Canada. And Canada, 14. No, no, no. I think, I don't think you've said Canada, so that's... Can I say Canada, least. United States? You guys have to rewind a little bit and let me know. And get back here, okay? Put it in the comments, please. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so uh, as I uh, travel to more countries, you will get updates from me. I hope my hair looks good. I had a hat on all day. Love you. First stop on the agenda today is the last part of the city wall tour, which is the larger fort overlooking Blackwater Bay. We don't know the real name of the bay, but that's the Game of Thrones version. Uh, we are not actually taking you on a Game of Thrones tour. It just sounds like it. Well, it's quite easy to get around in Old Town. It's pretty much like a giant grid. And everything leads to the main road, which is straight on, I think. It's cool. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you just run into that, Mom. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really got to pay attention where you're going here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> you sure didn't break your knee. No, If you're walking through Croatia or Dubrovnik, make sure you look down because there's uh, some poles hanging out of the ground. Poles hanging out to block the cars. Is it cold? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Cold and refreshing. Tastes good. Good. It is 10.16 and it looks like the cruise ship has arrived because there's a bunch of tours and groups and everyone together, so I'm gonna make that assumption. We have officially left Old Town and now we're in West Harbor, Brooklyn. Is it 
it warm? So refreshing. Are you excited for the stairs? Yes. Mom, how many steps was it? 170. 170 steps? How is it in there? Yeah. It's hot. Hot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thoughts on the fort? I like the fort. Pretty sweet. Glad it was included in the ticket price. Great views. Yeah. It's and definitely worth it. the views of the harbor and the water below is just so perfect. So definitely recommend if you uh, get the city wall ticket because it's added in it. So it's no additional cost and it's very pretty. We added an addition to my wardrobe. What do you guys think? Looks like someone got a souvenir here, huh? Nice hat. It's hot out. After getting Taylor's hat and eating some lunch, we hopped on a boat to explore the neighboring islands of Dubrovnik. Pumped? Pumped. We booked this tour with Tony through Airbnb Experiences, who took us snorkeling in crystal clear water and to a beach only accessible by boat. It is absolutely amazing. Incredible. I mean, check this place out. So to get into the blue cave, you have to swim into this little hole in here. You don't really need to swim no, underwater. Yeah. Wow. Holy Toledo. Wow. That was good. Here they all come. Okay, don't forget the sharks. Woo! <laughs> it is so beautiful in this water. I'm loving it. Cave number two, three, and four in this little uh, adventure. This is cool, huh? It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. <laughs> this is Shoon Beach, which is arguably the best sandy beach in all of Dubrovnik. Yeah. And uh, you can just walk out super flat all the way to the boat. It's pretty cool. I'm actually disappointed that there's no rocks. You're disappointed? Yeah. Hey, you, <laughs> you didn't need them. I didn't need them. I did, I did not need them. What did you need them for? I thought there were going to be rocks here. I'm a little disappointed. Oh, yeah, no, this is sad. I'm a little disappointed. So we are hiking up these stairs on the left side of the beach because Tony recommended that we go to the restaurant in the forest. It's not really in the forest, but it's just not on the beach. Up on the hill. He said that the fried calamari is amazing and that we have to try it. Oh, I'm going to man. Woo! And that the food here is better and it's cheaper than the restaurants on the beach. So we're gonna give it a go. And you have to get a little workout in to get to the restaurant. You got so. a nice little view though. Beautiful view. What a beautiful restaurant. We got 
the margarita with the lemon juice, but really there's just one margarita. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'll notice how this lemon. I think it's going to be quite good. I think it's going to be, it's going to be very refreshing. It'll be probably the best. Like lemonade. Mm-hmm. It's good. I do like it. You guys are welcome. Tony's recommendation, 10 out of 10. How are the fries? Good. How cute okay. you guys look. How cute. Woo! It's getting chilly, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm on my tippy toes. I think the boat ride was the highlight of the trip. We just got back to uh, Pitya Gate, entering back into Old Town now. Mom, what do you think? There it is. Oh. It's called, we're gonna call this the Carolyn. This is called the Carolyn. Where are we off to? We are off to do candy some store. cliff jumping. Candy store, hopefully, but probably not. <laughs> do some cliff jumping? Cliff jumping. We're headed to a bar where you can sneak through the wall and uh, jump off some cliffs. So that's where we're going. We have no real intentions of drinking at this bar. More just to cliff jump into the Adriatic Sea. But it's also getting kind of late. So hopefully, hopefully it's not jumpers. too cold. Hopefully there's people jumping. Hopefully the water is not too rough. Oh my God, this is great. This is gonna be a good day. Yeah, I got you. Ooh, it looks further once you're out here. Ready? Yeah. Way further. Good job. Once you're up there, then it'll work. It's awesome. Such a treat. Oh. It's so fun. Oh my god. Still always very fun. My stomach jumped a little. Yeah. That's so fun. think of uh, Booza Bar. Loved it. The other drinks were good. <laughs> Went for the cliff jump, didn't stay for the drinks. That was really fun. If you get a chance to go, definitely do the jump if you can. All right, so we just got home from dinner. We went to a nice little <laughs> restaurant right around the corner above the Gisette Steps. I'd uh, rate it about a six. Yeah, I didn't think it was that good at all. Yeah, I got a risotto that Six. was probably the food wasn't good. One of the best. The presentation and the restaurant vibe is great, but oh, the food great wasn't vibe. good. And the staff is very nice. Yeah. But the food just was me. Yeah. Want to go there? Yeah. Well, we hi. have one more full day here. One more full day, and then a half day. Yeah, but so far to Brovnik, loving it. So. Yeah. We'll see you in the morning. It's uh, 9.30 though, so it's bedtime for us. Yeah, we need to get an early morning, or early night. Down. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> or shall we say, good afternoon. <laughs> It's 10.37. Good morning, birds. Good morning, bees. Good morning, Belvin Brook and Tree. Heard why you're here so soon. I thought it was going to up till noon. Jesus. <laughs> We're just wearing flip-flops today. Yes, I'm out of sorts. What happened to your uh, water shoes? A blister. Oh. They're not happy. Yikes. I had happy feet yesterday. Not happy today. <laughs> and no band-aids. Just FYI, you're coming to Croatia. Bring band-aids. Dot one. <laughs> We are off to the cable car to see the overview of Dubrovnik, Old Town. And then we're going to a beach and just keeping it mellow today. The beach is Getting out some sun.
So there's actually a third entrance into the city, which is in the main gate. Yeah. Once you Why? leave the gate, don't buy tickets at the two spots right in front of it. It's more expensive. It was 200 credit per person? Correct. Yep. For a round trip ticket, so not too bad. If you get them down below, it's about $4 for per person. Made it to the hot top. There's a hot one in there, but it's really cool up here. We realized when we were up there that there's actually a lower area down here where you can check out the view. So we made it to uh, stop number three on the uh, views search. Cable car. Was it worth it? Cable car. Yeah, I think so. I'd say if you're strapped for cash and you only can pick a few things, no. Right. If you can do all the things, You sure. may as well do it. But the I beautiful that, view. I thought that the wall views were cooler. The wall views. Yeah, the city wall. Yeah. City wall tour is by far better than that. Yeah. But and uh, the boat Yeah, I think it's a little expensive, but it's the views are incredible, but it just gets like we're you done. see it and then you're done. Yeah. There's not much else to it. They have like zip line and ATV tour, which is kind of like touristy and not really. I mean, hey, he's throwing, but yeah. it's super hot and we need to get cooled down in the water. Yeah. We're at the other entry gate to the city. This one's pretty beautiful with the little garden in front, but the city wall is just pretty magnificent. We're making one pit stop head to the beach for a Dubrovnik traditional meal. Maybe. We don't know. It's called a barak. It's a sandwich. What do we think? Looks so good. It's got cheese and spinach in it, or you can get leek, or you can just get plain cheese. But we opted for the cheese and spinach. Go for it. so good. I could eat this whole thing. You just, oh my god. Yeah, so good. Mm. It's good, right? It was like a... Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> so good. Delicious. Alright, well that wraps up our time here in our 30th country of Croatia and it has been Absolutely incredible. If you guys have Dubrovnik on your list, we totally recommend checking it out because it is stunning. Old Town is one of the coolest places we have ever been and it really makes you feel like you're in a castle town in like the 1200s from the 13th century. 
So if you're interested in something like that, then put Old Town Dubrovnik on your list and you will not be disappointed. But well, we're off to Italy. We've been there before in Rome and Venice, but now we're going to the Amalfi Coast and Lake Como, and we can't wait to explore that area with you. It's gonna be a hot, warm destination just like this. So we're gonna keep this tan going, hopefully. If you guys are interested in checking out those destinations, please stay tuned, because they are coming your way. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.